okay i'm here to describe publisher and subscriber and messages so basically um, this is the publisher node and let's say this is the subscriber node and if you want to communicate between these two the the communication between these two nodes can only be done uh, in form of messages so if you go and check uh, this um, simple publisher subscriber node and then you go through it uh, then this is the message type if you see that's from standard messages we are importing string type message type and this is the string which we are going to publish so this is the message which will be published in form of uh, you know message and this is the type string type message will be published and in the similar way uh, this is the subscriber node it is also subscribing to chatter and the message type is string so basically the two nodes are communicating uh, with each other uh, using string type messages okay now imagine that you have to create some specific uh, message which is uh, not available in the standard messages so what you can do you can go and create a directory message because the message is supposed to be in the message directory and then you create whatever you want to uh, right so for example you can create the first name and then you can create id and then you know the age and score so this could be the message so when you're communicating with two nodes for example if i ask someone uh, as a pub uh, you know as a if there is some student a and then then there is student b and student a asks student b uh, about uh, his age and his score in the some paper so he can you know he or she can uh, send a message in this form non-standard format furthermore if you want to um, if you create some non-standard messages then you on also need to open your xml file and then do bunch of changes particularly this one if you check my xml file so these are the changes and you you have to uncomment these two lines it is uh, mentioned here and also do some changes here in the cmakelist.txt so here is cmakelist.txt and you can you know you can find those uh, uh, relevant uh, um, cmakelist and then make those changes now imagine that uh, we have we also have to not only send the message but also receive the message so it's kind of response uh, request type uh, communication and this is called services particularly so imagine there is a waiter you go into a restaurant uh, in a restaurant and uh, you request some food so you're a client you request some food to the waiter and waiter provides you with some mm, provides you your order so the waiter is your server and you are a client so this is the type of top, you know topology for the raw ser uh, service now before you create a uh, service you need to create what would be the message when you are requesting and one would what would be the response so what you need to do is you need to create your uh, you know directory service directory and then in that service directory you need to create uh, request and response format so particularly in this uh, application so particularly in this application we are creating we are adding simply two integers so these two integers a and b are actually the request and this one is the sum uh, is the response and this uh, these three dash line separate the request and response and then you also have to make relevant changes in your CMake list file uh, by adding this service. Um, service basically what it does, it tells the ROS that what is the response and what is the request. So once you have created successfully services declaring the request and response, you can go on and create a ROS. Uh, um, service uh, ROS nodes for uh, you know server and clients as I have already mentioned server is kind of a waiter uh, which uh, delivers your order and the client is like a customer which requests so this is the code for basically creating a server 
so what it does it uh, simply initialize the node and then it creates a server and uh, when the uh, services are requested then it provides a response and in the similar way this is the client um, in which uh, you know we initialize the node and then uh, when the user okay uh, inputs the argument one and two then it calls uh, it then it requests for the um, service so the same uh, this kind of structure of uh, server and client can also be created in python so we have this uh, code here in tutorial so this is the server in which uh, we you know create the node and then we use this uh, service name and then handle two integers and we call this function in which we get the request a which is the request uh, a and request b variable and then we provide with the add to its response with this uh, change and this is the code for the client in which uh, we have created this add to its clients and then this is basically the usage function which is called here so what we are going to what we are doing is here is calling the main function and then we get the a2 arguments and then we call this add to its clients here and then we uh, wait and uh, when we get the response we show the response as such the main advantage of using this uh, raw server client uh, structure is that uh, we uh, we we can we can execute this loop with a minimum delay so for example if you want to get uh, you know uh, some information from your motor and based on the like uh, from the encoders and based on that you can you want to you know change its speed uh, and then you can send it to the your motor again then this kind of structure would be the best otherwise you know your sensor your encoder will keep sending you the position and then you will keep changing the pwm or something speed it will be like inefficient so and you will never know okay what at what rate i sh um, i should communicate with this uh, with my you know main board so this kind of structure is the best in that case thank you